Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to prepare for the user authentication settings super badge unit. We're gonna be breaking down the content in this into user stories and tasks. This video is a continuation of the previous video in this playlist. So if you have not seen that one first, please check over there so you have context to understand the content of this video. In this video, I will be I will go through the user stories and tasks as I broke them up. I encourage you to do the same thing for you so that way you have your own approach and you get your own experience. Really, my goal here is not just that you're able to pass these challenges with confidence, but that you really start to build a new skill that you'll be able to use your entire working career. Let's get into it. For this unit, I wrote that the use case is to update serious cash flow security to meet Cumulus Global Bank requirements. That's Brit. You know, so if you think about all of the things that we're doing, it really just boils down to that one sentence. I always love being able to say complicated things in one sentence. Um, it's a great skill to have, and it's particularly important when you're going to be working with business leaders and other team members, and they're going to ask you, what are you working on? They don't really want to know the answer to that question, like really, really. They want to know like big picture, like what I'm working on. Like, so always keep that in mind that when somebody asks you, have a big picture answer ready to be able to explain to them what you're doing. And that's what I think this use case is all about here. Okay, so to get into the user stories and tasks, what I did for this user story for the first challenge, as I said, as a Typical user, I want strong word password policies um, so that data is secure for typical users. And I said typical users here because as you know, we're gonna then, next thing is gonna explain more secure users. Um, and I wrote this as a benefit for the typical user because as a typical, as a user, I want to, I might be annoying to like have to remember a complicated password, right? But ultimately that person wants that because they don't want to be the cause of a security breach, right? So it's, it's a benefit for that person. It's also a benefit for the organization. And so I could have written the user story that way as well. The pass, the tasks here. And again, what I did for the tasks is I just literally took the information that was in, you know, um, that's in here and I just try to break it up in a way into specific tasks but at no point do I actually explain what to do I'm just using the same words that are over there so when you write your tasks however and when you do this for yourself you could actually write out like okay I gotta do this I gotta do this and you could change the phrasing so you are directed on how to actually do it I can't tell you how to do it because this is a credential, right? So again, so just to go through this, passwords have to be at least 12 characters. They've got to include alphanumeric and special characters. Users are only allowed uh, three login attempts. After that, they have to be locked for 30 minutes. A user cannot reset their password more than once in a 24 hour period. And the answer to a user's security question must be obscured during the password reset process. Those are the tasks. And once you've done those things, however you do them, you will have completed this user story. The second part of the challenge is setting it up for a privileged system admin, a privileged user. Uh, you're going to want more secure policies so the data is secure and we can avoid a breach. The tasks here is that the passwords for the system admins have to have at least 15 characters. Passwords for admins have to be more complex and they've got to include all this stuff in here for more information see password requirements over here okay if you do all of this stuff you'll be ready to pass challenge one of this unit challenge two login requirements and limits so what i did here is i said as a inside sales representative i want to security to work anytime from anywhere because i need to get my job done in a secure way i'm you know so again we could think of this security requirements as a benefit from the organization that we don't leak data um, and then that becomes like a very general thing or we could write it as a benefit for the specific user that we're doing this requirement for and that gives us a very much more specific way of putting our mind around what it is that we're trying to accomplish the tasks here 
would be to update the custom profile for inside sales representatives to, and then the details, and then set a description. We also have to set a description in that process so that way some other admin coming in at a later date knows what those numbers are. Otherwise, if you you know just go through this process and you put numbers in there, it just seems random, right? The next part of this would be as a call center agent, um, I want to work from the call center only during office hours. And you know you might think, well, a call center might want to work, agent might want to work for more than that. Typically, call center agents deal with a lot of very secure information. And so being able to be on premise only during certain hours is really important. So to do that, we're going to update the custom profile for call center agents. So they have the login location, login hours, and we're going to set a description. Once you've done those two user stories, you are ready to pass challenge two. I should say this article uh, view and edit login hours in the original profile user interface was very helpful to me and it is linked in the description below. Next up is API access for connected apps for part one. I said as a just general user, I want restrictions on apps that I can install so I don't cause a security breach. I know myself personally at work, I'm always trying to install stuff because there's software that I would like to be able to use and I am frequently denied the opportunity of doing that because it would probably cause a security breach. But, um, and then you got to go through a whole like request process to get that software. Yeah, anyhow. Um, but here's how to do this. You're going to only grant API access to allow listed connected apps. The administrator has to approve user access to these apps. So you're going to do that. You never allow users to self-authorize for any connected apps. And the trailer connected app has been pre-installed in your org. You did that when you signed up for the org originally, right? You do not need to make any adjustments to this app to pass the challenge. So that's important to keep in mind. Article that I thought was helpful for me on this one was manage other access settings for a connected app, also linked in the description below. Next part of this challenge would be as a inside sales user, I want to use the Salesforce mobile app so I can accomplish my job in a secure way, right? Inside sales um, need to be able to have access on their phone. So the only employees allowed access to the org via their mobile device are inside sales users. So you've got to configure that, you set that up and they only need access to the Salesforce for iOS connected app. Um, just, that's important. And I'm just copying and pasting here, right? I'm not giving away anything. Just once you've done that, you are ready to pass challenge three. For the last part, um, for the trusted IP, I wrote as a employee working on site. So it doesn't matter who I am, what my role is, but I want to be able to access the network without extra login information. I should have wrote steps. Instead I wrote steps, which makes no sense. But, and yeah, I could edit it and go back, but it's okay, you know what I mean here. So that I can quickly join the network when working from the office. And what you're gonna to do to make that happen is you're gonna configure Sirius's cash flow org to allow users log in at the corporate IP address. And once you have done that, you have completed, you'll be ready to pass challenge four, and you are then done with this user authentication uh, specialist super badge. Hope this video was helpful for you. Make your own user stories, break this up and you will complete this in no time. And I will see you in the next video.